So in this video, we're going to run with a similar problem. We want to write 3 cos theta minus 8 sine theta in the form of r cos theta plus alpha this time. So r cos theta plus alpha using the compound angle formulas will be cos theta cos alpha minus sine theta sine alpha. Multiplying through and bringing the alphas to the front, we will get r cos alpha cos theta minus r sine alpha sine theta. So if one is in front of the cosines of the same, we would have that 3 is r cos alpha, and r sine alpha must be the 8. Okay, We've got a minus there and a minus there, so the r sine alpha must be 8. Okay, now if we rearrange both of these, cos alpha is 3 over r, sine alpha is uh, 8 over r, draw a right angle triangle, there's your alpha, so that must be 3 and r, 3 must be the adjacent, 8 must be the opposite, so r squared must be 3 squared plus 8 squared. So 3 squared plus 8 squared is 73. So R must be oh, the square root of 73. Now, R is always positive here. Okay, So don't think about bringing in a plus minus at this point. Uh, because R is a length. So given that we've got R, we can now say that sine alpha is 8 over root 73, using that, substituting into that formula there. And so alpha is inverse sine of 8 over root 73, and that's 1.21 to three significant figures. And so 3 cos theta minus 8 sine theta is the same as um, root 73 cos of theta plus 1.21 to three significant figures, as required.